All right, I'm back again with them fun comes with man like Vicky. Kwaje bro? We tell him, we tell him, we tell him. Two games of CCT, two shots on target. Yes. Where's Alan? In, in Saliba's pocket. Nah, I think it's Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. Yes. All righty, Nikon, a man like I am Vicky. How you doing, bro? How did you like that game? Uh, personally, I feel disappointed. Trust, sad fuck. Disappointed? Yeah. Okay. We should have won. We were going to there to defend, then smash and grab. We live with a win. Yeah. But overall, it's not about results. I draw a 30 hard. Not just a draw a, a draw a 30 hard. We went to a team that has played 57 games in a row at 30 hard. And they have scored. Yeah. Did they score today? No, they didn't. How many shots did they have on target? Is it one or two? Where's the second one coming from? One. Just one. Yeah. At home? Yeah. At home, they've scored 57 games in a row. Yeah. Yeah. One shot on target. Yeah. Willow, Gabriel. Absolutely had those guys in their pocket. All right. So who do you say was your man of the match today? They gave it to Saliba. But deep down, I felt like Gabriel deserved it. Had a good match? Very. Yeah. Very. Defensively, yeah. we did everything right. Yeah. Everything right. In midfield, we were a little sluggish. We let City win the second balls. And uh, maybe we start back. That is OK. Yeah. You don't go to it here and not sit back. Teams go there and sit back, and they concede. Yeah. Did we concede? No. We no. Yeah. no. So overall, it was a good result. Yeah, it was a good result. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, this leaves Liverpool on top of the table. Arsenal second, Man City third. Do you think this one has a big impact? On the territory, summer, there's still something to happen as we go on to the next nine games. What I feel, this is much like, more like a psychological game of what happens now. You see, most people are saying, if City win, Arsenal have no chance of winning the league. If we won, they still were saying City might win the league. So then, you know, it was mentally for us as Arsenal, what, what have we learned from what happened last season? Because... The question is, last season we started crumbling the second leg. Yeah. This season, this is our, the second leg, yeah? Only Fulham took a result from us. The rest we have won, and this was the first draw. Yeah. So, it is not really a title decider, but it was going to be a mental game yeah. towards what happens next. The next game. Yeah. All right. And then, there are some people, I am Vicky, yeah. who wake up and think about Arsenal, who sleep and think about, they are not Arsenal fans. Yeah. Wake up, they tweet about Arsenal. The first thing they do is tweet about Arsenal and they're not Arsenal fans. Would you, do you have like a word you want to give them in case they're watching now? No, 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 let, let me. I, you don't want to mention them. I will. What are they? Eric Njiru, Lotan Salaipei, Saddam. Keep on hating. You can hate all you want. We give you content. It's okay. You hate as in a ninja has not seen him team play for two weeks. Two weeks. Two fucking weeks. Then the first thing you wake up and tweet is about Arsenal. Are, are, you, are, you, are you a Man U or are you a Liverpool supporter? Or are you an Arsenal hater first? Yeah. You know? But anyways, we want you to talk. Yeah. Keep, we don't want, tell us that we're going to lose the league. Because when we win, it's going to be fucking sweeter than... Absolutely. So that's the word from Mayam Vicky. All those guys who think and dream about Arsenal. So you still think Arsenal is winning the title? Yeah. Yeah. Last season I had no confidence. This season I am confident. Yeah. We are winning it. Absolutely. How did you like our experience today watching at Kentwood? It's always a place. It's the first time I've watched it with you. Oh, yes. So it's always a vibe, bro. Yes. We keep it going. Next big game, I'll be here. Awesome, bro. Bigger, bro. Thank you. Shukran.